Okay, Mike and I are at a uh, new promotion we got. Older house uh, in Older Town. And uh, my first target, actually not my first target, my first noteworthy target, I found a quarter, uh, dime, both clad, uh, penny, which was a memorial. And uh, I did find a garden hose uh, implement, which I will repurpose. I love those things that spray really hard. You can hardly find them in that good a shape. But uh, pop this little pendant thing, and it's a heart shape. Got a little star on it, made out of copper. So uh, doesn't appear to have any writing on it, but uh, things are sticking to it pretty good. So not 100% if it's a dog tag or not. That's what I would have thought it would have been, but... We'll see. We'll keep going. Just got started here this morning. I uh, got a better part of the day to hunt, so hopefully we can get on some goodies. The old 1247 signal, once again. Beautiful six wheel dump truck. Kids will be happy with that one. Clean up nice, I'm sure. A couple inches deep. So we'll keep going. Do I count it as a half dollar? It says half dollar on the bottom pretty sure you count it as a half dollar or it's just a wrapper to a chocolate that's mean that's really mean oh well keep going oh Mikey doesn't realize it but I just popped a silver <laughs> I fronted, hunted the front of the yard and it was uh, kind of trashy but not not terrible um, didn't find much some clad started down the side here and uh, my first signal honestly I popped it out and it was, oh, I'm going to guess it was three inches deep, just looking at what I had here. I just flipped it out. I don't know what it is yet, but it is a silver dime. Not looked at it yet. Not sure if it's a Merc. Oh, it looks wiped, whatever it is. Wow, is it wiped. It is almost completely wiped. Wow, I've never seen one this completely wiped 100% silver though man I can't get any detail off of that wow that is one carried coin right there folks since I can't tell I'm going to call it a one real <laughs> maybe you guys can see more than I can but man it's wiped over here so anyway we'll see what else we can get cool find Oh, Mikey and I put our good eyes to it and uh, couldn't tell squat. <laughs> so I took a picture of it with my phone, and hopefully you guys can see this. It's actually seated, and it's an 1879. I believe it is 1879. We believe. It's cool. It's awesome. I might post a picture from my phone. I'll get a better one when I get home, but it's definitely a seated dime. I'm going to go look for some more. Woo! Just started in the backyard. I uh, hadn't gone very far. Found the seated on the other side of that tree right there. Uh, popped a plug, and uh, down in was that, but I knew that wasn't my signal. I kept going, and deep down in there, I found this button back. And it's got some really cool gold gilt on it. I think I can get a back mark off of it. Not sure if it's military or not, but part of a two piece for sure. Front's gone, shanks intact. It's kind of fragile little fragility so we're going to take care of it and see what we can find out when we clean it up we'll let you know okay i'm still working along this fence row back here first swipe in the backyard big backyard i mean it's huge we'll be here all day if we keep finding stuff so uh anyway um had a scratchy signal uh, pulled three nails out of the hole already and finally got to the signal which is a 1944 wheat scent i believe I think it's 44. You guys know me. Can't see them, but hopefully you can. So I think it's 44 wheat cent. Pretty good shape. So keep going. See what else we can get. Oh, Mikey came over. He's pretty tickled. He hit the sidewalk strip. And his is really, really legible <laughs> compared to mine. Got himself a little silver rosy. 1951. So... There goes my phone, so I'll hand this back to Mike and quiet that. And then, I have something right down here. I'm going to let Mikey find for me. Right here. Well, maybe I'll pop it. It's probably just a penny. But 
Man, you don't know. We're having some success here as of late. Bent nail every time. So Mikey wins this round. Woohoo! Alright, I scanned my hole again and it was not the nail that was my signal. It was this wheat scent, which I think is a 37, Mikey said. Good green on the back, but not a whole lot of green on the front. So, anyway, man, it's turned out to be a good day. We'll keep going. Okay, uh, Mike got us a new, new permission. The husband came home from the other one and decided he didn't want us there. And said we didn't ask permission, even though we did. But just uh, pop this old junk ring, wrap around ring here at this new permission. So anyway, almost looks like it's got a face on it or something, but I'm not sure. Anyway, see what else we can get. Okay, we're back in the truck now, and not because we're cold, but because the police showed up, and uh, and she had. Uh, Permission giver's remorse, I guess. Uh, anyway, so Mike and I are back in the truck, and we're going to go wow. hit another one. So that's yeah. two in a row we've got run off yeah. from. But I had just popped this. In fact, the officer uh, was with me as I popped this, but it says, ready for winter. And uh, he could read the back of it. I really couldn't, but uh, it says, approved Chevrolet service, genuine parts and accessories, only at your Chevrolet dealer. So just a little Chevy token. Yep. I dug a real old lead lead weight. He got a nice lead weight, yeah, so real nice, like hand carved, dude. Like like somebody handmade, like, huh? Melted it over a fire type thing. All right, you know, well we're so gonna try to get cool. gonna try to go get us on another we're gonna one. Get another one. We're gonna hunt off again. We're, we're gonna hunt fast go. this yeah. time, so we'll see yeah, what else we can get. Well, Missouri Mike called me over, and he was a little bit happy. How deep was it, Mikey? About that deep. That's about, six, about six inches deep, yeah, 1900 six, barber. Can't tell if there's a mint mark. It looks like it. I uh, can't tell. So, anyway, sweet find, Mike. Yeah. We need the we need the Merc to do the quad fectra today. Killing so, on the silvers, man. See what else we can do. I forgot to mention that we're at a new permission. <laughs> After uh, last time, a uh, guy that lives here came out and wanted to make sure we weren't going to tear up his yard. So. I dug a plug, and this is where Mike has found his uh, barber, but I just dug a wheat scent, and I'm not 100%, well, I think it's a 50, but it is a wheat scent, so my first good find in this yard. See what else we can get. Okay, I took a couple steps. Uh, there was actually a memorial down in with that weedy, that early one. Took a couple steps and got this wheat penny. I uh, can't tell the date on it. I'm trying to see through the viewfinder, but it looks like an old one, so maybe not. But we'll keep going. Right, I had a piece of wire and a piece of aluminum foil down in here. Um, I've popped a couple cars from right over there uh, and the cylinder to a cap gun, but went down in this hole and uh, this thing popped out. And it is plastic. 1981. <laughs> anyway, it's cool cool find so uh, didn't ring up and won't ring up because it is plastic but happy with it we'll keep going the Sun has come out and is very welcome about four inches deep in this plug here another wheat scent it's a uh, 40s model so, we'll keep going Mikey's already found a silver hopefully I can find one too so we'll see I don't think it's a speed racer. I caught it with my shovel going in, but dune buggy, pretty cool. He'll plug on. All right, my next target is this 1920-something wheat scent. And that was about five inches deep. So back is still dirty, but uh, good coin. Nice, beautiful dark patina. I don't know if you can tell it in the light the way it is, but it's a greenie, so keep going. Alrighty, on the board with another wheat scent. And uh, about done with this part of the yard. I still have this section past the uh, past the tan grass there. I kind of saved that for last, so we're going to hit that after I finish this pass right here. So wish me luck. 
right, my next signal here um, could be part of a lighter, but I'm not sure. I'm almost thinking it was a match tin at first. But, uh, huh. Anyway, cool, fine. Let's see what else we can get. This is a Tootsie toy I have not found before. Definitely a Tootsie. And I think I got it with my shovel. Not a hundred percent. It was back a ways, but you can't tell if that's a fresh bang or not. So, anyway, cool Tootsie toy. Getting close to being done with this yard, unfortunately. But we'll go on to another. Well, Mike and I have changed sides, and we're doing cleanup. And uh, we got this signal, and it wasn't really the best signal in the world. Been having trouble finding it, but I just saw a chain somewhere down here. There we go. I saw some chain here, so don't know if I can get this out one-handed or not. We're going to try. Looks like we're going back into this clod. Don't know if there's anything on the end of it. Oh, there is. Right here. If I can get it out. Looks like it's going to be a heart. And it's just going to be junk. Some fake old rhinestones on it. Oh, Mikey broke the chain. Which is fine because it's a junk chain. So anyway, that's that. We're almost done. Been a good hunt. Okay, there was actually two parts to it. A uh, little silver, not silver, junk heart. And uh, anyway, it's some fun fishing, but just goes in the scrap pile. I am 100% on my last pass. I've hunted all of that up there, even over where Mike was, and uh, we're about to call it quits. So there used to be an old sidewalk come through here. There used to be an old sidewalk come through there, and this little sloped area, I thought I'd hit it, and I got a 1310 signal, 1211, um, and I've dug some of those. They've turned out to be pull tabs, but this time, it turned out to be a buffalo. I haven't even looked at it much, really. See if it's going to have a date on it. I think it is. Can't see it that good right now. See if I can't get a good clean into it real quick. Yeah. Definitely going to have a date on it, so I'll post it and you'll be seeing it right now. On this video, but man, awesome find. Love them buffalo nickels. Woohoo! Okay, creeping along here, still working this rounded edge here, and uh, got another nickel signal. Buffalo number two. And uh, can't tell, I don't think this one's got a date. I think it's wiped. But other than that, pretty good shape. I love those signals. Woohoo!